Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how you can create a SD card that can be booted on a Raspberry Pi. In this case, it's going to be a Model 4B. And I'm going to put on the Ubuntu 2404 image. So to do that, you just need the Raspberry Pi imager, which you can download from the Raspberry Pi website. Once it's installed, just open it up and then very simply choose the device that you're going to be creating the image for. So in this case, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to choose Raspberry Pi 4. Next, I'm going to choose the OS I want to install. So by default, it gives you a list of mostly Raspberry Pi OS based images that you can download and install on the SD card. If you scroll down a little bit, you've got other general purpose operating systems. So I'm going to click on that. I'm then going to go to Ubuntu. And then I'm going to select Ubuntu Server 2404 because that's what I want in this case. If you want a desktop environment, you can just select Ubuntu 2404. So I'm going to select the server edition. I'm going to choose the storage. Now I haven't attached the SD card yet, so I'm just going to do that now. There we go. So I'm going to select that one. And then I'm going to click on next. Now at this point you can do some operating system customization. So you can just put what the system name is, username and password, any Wi-Fi settings you want to apply. I'm not going to because it's got a wired connection in this case. SSH services, so I can upload a public key if I wanted to. In this case at the moment I'm not going to. And then options I can enable telemetry, which I'm not going to do that. I can play a sound when it's finished and eject the media. I'm going to leave the default for that. So I'm just going to click save. And then if I didn't want to and I wanted to reset it, I could just go no clear settings or just click no. In this case, I'm going to go yes. Now it's warning me that yes, it's going to erase all of the data that's on the SD card. Just remember that if you do decide to do this, everything on that card will be deleted. So bear that in mind. Select yes. It's going to ask me for my username and password. And at this point, it's going to start writing the image. However, though, it will take a while because I haven't downloaded the Ubuntu image to begin with. So it's going to basically download that first and then commence the writing. Now it's just going to verify that the data written to the SD card is correct. And we're all done. I can now remove the SD card from the machine and then install it into the Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.